All right, here we go. <clears throat> hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR 09. In this episode of our season with Greg Biffles, I don't remember. I have to start the video all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR 09. In this episode of Arc Season with Greg Biffle's up to scaling triangle number 16, 3 and 4, we're going to be doing race 21 of 36, the Pennsylvania 500 at Pocono Raceway. It's going to be yet another 16 lap race. And in this video, we are not alone. We are with um, one of my best friends that I've met through YouTube, and he's on Skype with me right now to watch this race as. The shit goes down. We have to pass 20 cars, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, um, Dale D-Ray 24, um, Reynolds. <laughs> Close enough. Close enough. That, 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 was, that was bad. That Dale D-Ray 24. I think, you hit, all, I think you hit all of my nicknames right there, buddy. <laughs> D-Ray. D-Ray. That's right. D-Ray. Dray. Oh, I'm going to wave to you down All right. Hi. So Hi, starting Jason. on the pole for the <laughs> second time in a row, I think, because I think Tony Stewart actually got the pole at uh, Indianapolis. Um, that's Tony Stewart on the pole. Uh, Michael Waltrip in second. Mark Martin in third. Delanar Jr. fourth. Jeff Gordon fifth. Um, Elliot Sadler in sixth. Carl Edwards starting in seventh. He's probably going to finish in the back. <laughs> Matt Kinza starting in eighth. And Martrex Jr. in ninth. And Paul Menard in tenth. So no John Wood. No, John Wood. Where's John Wood? Where is John Wood, game? Huh? <laughs> I thought you had a special sexual relationship with John Wood, you piece yeah. of shit. Where is he? You love Where's John Wood? Wood? You love Where's John Wood? Wood? He's, He's in 21st. Hey. He matches his car Same number. his car. Okay. Does that mean he's going to finish first because he's got the lucky number 21 in both places? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. This is messed up, game. This is messed up. So we're going to stop staring at this number 153 O'Reilly Auto Parts car, and we're going to get on with this race. Let's do it. At my favorite track and Dale Reynolds' technical home track. Here we are, Pocono Raceway, starting behind Jeff Burton and David Reagan. The green flag is out, and we are underway for 16 laps at this sexually satisfying triangular orgasm. <laughs> yes, it is. Very sexually satisfying. I have hair on my lip, and somehow... Um, Kevin Harvick is starting in the back again. How come every time I get a guest, Kevin Harvick starts in the back? Is that how Kevin Harvick works? I guess this is how it is, man. He's a closer. <laughs> he, he, he closes the field. Like, the back of the field. He closes the back of the field. Right? Yeah. This game didn't figure it out. That's right. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Is that Stremmy? Don't block Stremmy. Don't be a douche. Stremmy, there's no Stremmy in this game. Oh, okay. This is so nice. It's yeah, 2008. Like there's no David Stremmy in here. I think there might be a the nationwide here. I don't remember. Who, who is Pretty far. It's Dario Frankiti. Frankiti. Okay, that's right. That's right. My fad. My bad. Yeah, my, thumbs my, my fad. Thumbs quick back. The, the uh, the stomach. Uh, heartburn removal, I think. Yeah, I used to think it was headache removal, but... Uh, maybe your head is in your heart whenever you have heartburn. I don't know. Mm, especially a Pocono. Okay, so we're gonna go to the outside now. There are cars everywhere. Everywhere we try to go. Oh, look at that, Bobby Devine. Out. Block. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that guy wrecked so me in to Pocono. Set up your face cam. <laughs> it took your. It took you so long to set up your face cam that my phone's battery is actually about to die again. Oh, or it's at like fifteen percent, I guess. Damn. Wow, that's Look at my ceiling. Yay. My roof. Greg What's this outside lane right here? The outside Whoa. lane. Turns oh, what in the, the hell? Wall. What the hell did you, you could have gone down? What? Uh, he was like, I I'm going to block this guy here in the third lane. <laughs> a little tight right there. This guy is my so called ally, but. He just did that. Why yeah. is Kyle Petty back there? I thought Kyle Petty was the best NASCAR driver in history yeah. um gay sports. Yeah, I mean he, he he's, he's won. Been, well he almost won three races. He almost won at Chicago one. What did he win on? And then, he, then, he, then, then he just pulled out and then, No, no, he, he was, was just, just up front, front and then he pulled out and 
to the outside and just lost five positions right off the bat. I don't know why he did it, but he did. I mean, I was there, I was catching them, and I was making a, a big comeback in the race. I was going from like 10th to the lead, and I thought I might be doing it, but I couldn't catch Junior to bump my, bump that, bump my way, bump draft my way to the lead. And then Kyle Petty, he was in the lead. He just pulled out from the lead and then went to the outside and lost five positions. I mean, there's no point doing it, but he did. But we are in 32nd place. We're not moving up the pack very fast as we get extremely tight in turn three. Good lord. Wow. That was that was a wreck without a wreck right there. <laughs> oh my god. I'm still really confused about that shit in NASCAR, the game inside line that I mentioned in the last video, which hasn't come out as recording this yet. But um, basically what happens is my crew chief says that there were a lot of cars involved in that wreck um, after I hit the wall and I'm all by myself and we're online and it's just <laughs> race, race all spread out. I bump the wall, and the crew chief says there were a lot of cars involved in that wreck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Most of you guys probably already heard that story uh, once you've seen the video that came out before this one in the series. Oh goodness! Oh, tuck contact. Oh, there's John. Okay, I, I look behind me, and then I drive in the grass. Okay, tires getting worn. Tires are definitely wearing out right there. Big slide. Game. Have you ever played this game? Well, I know you haven't played NASCAR 9. What about NASCAR 08 for the PlayStation 2? Uh, I bought it. Yes, I bought it and played it for the first four or five. Well, actually, it's probably the first six months before I got an Xbox 360. But yeah, it, this game play almost exactly the same. Uh, yes, it's almost the exact same thing. As I'm getting into so many sticky. No, do that, Barney. Why you gotta do that? Uh, this, this game, game is a, a copy, copy of NASCAR 08. It's just different paint schemes and crap. Uh, so and there are no car brands, just, just like in the uh, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 version of NASCAR That was a dumb decision. You got, but this this doesn't even have a paint booth. It, at least in the Xbox and the PlayStation, you know, the, the 360 and the PS3 versions, you had a paint booth and you could put the logos back on there. But What the hell is wrong with me? Why am I pushing a fantasy car? Okay, I passed any cards. Yay me. Yay! 20 cars. Halfway there, kind of. Gosh, we're gonna. We're not halfway through the race yet. We're about to finish lap 5, as you can see, probably. I don't know. So here's Matt Kenseth. Um, Carl Edwards is. I think he's dropped out of the top 10. Yeah, I haven't seen. Oh, no, there he is right there, just hanging outside. Yeah. Trying to hold on to that time. And it comes back to the carpenter. Get your freaking Valvoline out of my face. Oh my god. It's like, like I get slowed down by them, and then all of a sudden they start slowing down even more because they're making contact with the front of my car. Yep. Oh goodness. The 10 cards in 10 plates. And now he's not. Get out the way. Hi, hey, Jeff Gordon. Hey, Gordon. Uh, so we're in the top 10 now. Making our way up front, tires worn. Would you stop oh, blocking me? Oh. You're gonna get spun. <laughs> it's gonna happen. And I'm not responsible for what happens to you. Stand the Patrick Carpenter. Get on the brakes because I'm trying not to get tight in the corner. Of course, whenever I do get on the brakes, I get loose. Honestly, the steering in Astro 8 and Astro 9 was kind of weird with the analog stick, which is why I use the, the arrows, because for some reason the arrows is tremendously better than the analog stick in these last EA Sports games for the PlayStation 2. It doesn't surprise me, it Nats sounds like something EA would do. <laughs> I mean, in Astro Thunder 2004, I steer a lot better with the arrows and the analog stick. And it's completely different when it comes to Nascar Thunder 2002. Yeah, it's completely different. That's part of 2002. Crazy Taxi physics game. Yes. <laughs> yes. Have you ever played Crazy Taxi? I have never played Crazy. Actually, no. I played the arcade. I played it at the arcade a couple times. So that's about it. Like they they have it for um I think PlayStation 4 and Xbox One now. I'm not sure. They um my friend Braxton did a video on it, and I think it was also done on one of those platforms in Joseph versus Zachary. Oh no, kidding. 
Uh, that game's that. physics are a joke. <laughs> but it's a good joke because it makes the game even more ridiculous and fun. Exactly. That's what makes crazy taxi. Okay, videos. Dale and our junior is going down for second. My car won't stop getting no, sideways out of nowhere. Alright then. Yeah. That was, that was crap. Made you a little lose there. It made you lose. I was going to give him room and then I just got loose trying to. Plus, the tires are really worn. The tires are wear. It's yep. crazy. Worn condition. I'm going to stay out for one more lap. Oh, wait. Can I, can I lead a lap before I go down pit road? And drag uh, race, go! Uh, no. Screw you! <laughs> Dang it! So close! So Maybe we'll lead the lap going down pit road, but that's probably not going to happen because other cars aren't going to pit. Good lord. Man, you are loose. <laughs> Hang on to that thing. <laughs> yeah, this game, um, whenever you get tire wear, you are loose as shit. Uh, Clint Boyer apparently is in the lead. Apparently Clint Boyer is... Proving to be better than me, Jeff. Th that's it's not, not Jeff, Jeff Gordon, you dumbass, Stacy. That's, that's still our wow. junior. <laughs> Gosh, the lack of grip on worn tires is sad. Oh gosh, I'm all closed in right now because of Junior. You should really move over, Junior. <laughs> I, I'm not AI. I'm uh -oh. not AI. He's get, cutting down on me. Please get off. Oh, ah. oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh. So we're just going to drive through all the pit stalls. I wish there were cars there. Uh, I wish NASCAR games where would it happen where the um, you can drive through pit road and destroy the cars in their pit stalls. Really? You can do that in this game? <laughs> no, I mean, which games could you actually do that in? Okay, I got that uh, low battery notification out of the way. Uh, let's see. I don't think any EA Sports game could do that. I mean, um, I know it was possible in, like, Napster 08 for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. I'm not sure if it was in Napster 09, though. Um, yes, actually, both of those games you could, but it was more of a glitch than something intentional. Um, the yeah. only games that I've found that you can actually control your car going down pit road is either... Like was like the old NASCAR Racing '96 on PS1. You had control over your car going into pit road, and that's really what about it. I don't think any of the EA Sports what games the did hell? that. Why did he slow down? Yeah, why did he just he like, got he just, on like, slow down? <laughs> he just like stopped. He was like, okay, here, here you go, go ahead. Freaking same thing at Sonoma. They all just parked it in turn 11 all of a sudden. This is weird as hell. The tippy toeing. <laughs> Okay, so we're in 23rd, but we got cars going down pit road. Two cars in front of us. I'm not sure if there will still be cars in front of us um, after all the other cars have done pitted or whatever. Looking at our innovating car. Yeah, the 3M innovation. So innovating. Innovating. <laughs> it's innovating and exciting. I'm going through turn one full throttle right now. That's not realistic. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna give up third place. Are oh, you gonna give it back to him? <laughs> if um, he ever gets around will you. Will you pass me, you dumbass? <laughs> if he ever gets around you. And I'll let off the gas and drop 20 miles an hour, and you're still just sitting right behind me. Are you trying to learn from my pathetic excuse for driving skills, man? Hey, man. <laughs> okay. Bump drafting. I'm not gonna bump draft in the corners though, but you're gonna slam on the brakes and scare the crap out of me. Wow. Because we can gain on uh, other cars by bump drafting in this game, regardless if it actually helps you make yes. faster lap times. Yes, that much see, I now, do to remember about this game. Like, if you can see those guys. We're actually gaining on them a ton just because we're bump drafting. Yes. The whole bump drafting physics are crap as well. Yeah, they're not very good. They just send okay, us We've got these guys. There's Junior and there's Clint Boyer. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. What was that? <laughs> Here, kitty, 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 come get you some. Tony Stewart, Indianapolis, oh. 2007. Oh, I probably didn't watch NASCAR oh! that time. Woo! That was a talented piece of driving right there, buddy. Well, he, he's, I killed him in an accident. I didn't watch NASCAR back in 2007, honestly. You know, I remember watching parts of some races, but I was 
too not interested and only wanted to watch cartoons and shit, apparently. Oh, that's okay. 2007, how old was I? I think... 2007... Nine years old? Wow. Maybe? Okay, so Junior just took the lead. Three wide for the lead right now. Oh, no, man. never mind. Out on two wide. Inside, Finboyer. You know, I like Direct TV, but just because this game prefers De Direct TV over Dish doesn't mean they have to make Carl Edwards suck. You know, it's, yeah, well, <laughs> that's right. Maybe Direct TV paid EA Sports more than, than Dish TV did. So I mean, I kind of have to help Clint Boyer because he drives the 14 car now, and I kind of like him just because of that. But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, we'll go with that. And plus, it's Direct TV. Yeah, it's direct TV, that's right. I don't do energy drinks, I do Pepsi. That's right. <laughs> My energy drinks are called coffee and coffee and cocoa. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> As of recently, I've been drinking more cocoa than coffee, though. I used to. Uh, Dale Hart Jr. just gave up. He did. He just, he just, he's gone. <laughs> the heck? My, my, my front splitter went into the ground and then came back out. We're racing on water! <gasps> That's right. Oh my god, that is fantastic. I love racing on water at Pokemon Raceway. It's Jesus. Uh, I, this is um, the number, number 16 3 m Jesus Ford, Ford or something. Jesus know. Ford. <laughs> it's Greg Biffle's Jesus number 16 3 m Ford. That's right. Like, I'm, I'm the Jesus from The Walking Dead of this series right now. The Jesus, exactly. With that point lead, yeah. You, you should be able to walk on water. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so I'm, I'm just, just working, working with, with um, I was going to say Greg Biffle, but I am Greg Biffle. Clint Boyer, I don't know why, but Hi guys, we're taking the lead. There's the lead um, right there. If the caution comes out, I, I guess that would mean that this race would be a lot better for a finish, but... It's shaping up to be a pretty good battle, Boyer's not, Boyer. Boyer's not letting it go. Uh, 160 in the corners. 178 before the end of the stretches. All right. Battery, Battery critically, critically low. low. That does not sound good. It's all right. White flag right here. One to go. And it oh. ended under caution. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I don't get to do donuts now. <laughs> that is... Oh man! Well, that that could have come out at a different time, but mm -hmm. just be thankful. Could have come out before the line. Maybe we'd have a one lap shootout, but no. <laughs> just, just be happy so, you didn't get Jeff Gordon and they threw the caution about a hundred yards earlier. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, looking at these replays, uh, this is a nice camera angle, I guess. And yep. there's Junior pinning it down as he tries to head down pit road. Yep, and another nice camera angle. <laughs> it's a beautiful view of that long Pocono front stretch. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, took you long enough, game. All right. <sighs> okay, so, yeah, that, enough of that crap. Uh, my teammate Matt Kins has finished fourth, um, and that's my only other teammate um, finishing in the top ten. Let's take a look at the stats. Uh, Greg Biffle finished in the lead. He finished in the lead. Finish he the won lead. the race. You technically, um, did finish in the lead. You finished. I, I didn't win the race. It didn't end in the caution, so there's no winner. <laughs> That's right. He started 43rd and won the race, led three laps. Uh, Clint Boyer led five laps and got the most laps led. He wouldn't have done that if I had just taken the lead from him right off the bat, but I didn't. Delanart Jr. started fourth and finished third. Matt Kinseth started eighth and finished fourth. Patrick the Carpenter started 15th and finished 5th. Michael Waltrip started 2nd and finished 6th. He led 3 laps Waltrip in this race. Guy. <laughs> yeah, whoever that is. I never heard him before. Oh, Marcus yeah. Ambrose came from 33rd to finish 9th. Yeah. Um, and AJ Allmendinger started 17th and finished 10th. Uh, Jeff Gordon started 5th, finished 12th, and he led 2 laps in this race. Uh, my... Uh, second best finishing teammate started 31st and finished 15th, and that is Jamie McMurray. McMurray. Uh, 
David Reagan started 42nd, finished 32nd. Um, and then Carl Edwards, who started 7th, finished 38th, as yeah. predicted. Kind of. <laughs> yes, as predicted. Um, and uh, starting 30th and finished 43rd is Jay Zim. I don't know who that is. I guess it's, that's uh, Jay Zim. Jay JC1424 Zim. He's the opposite of me. <laughs> we had no DNFs in that race. Yeah. Wow. All right, so I'm making out with Jay McMurray in victory lane, and <laughs> <laughs> this is the best place for Pocono, you know? Oh, man. All right, so we need to finish this video off before my, uh, my, my phone dies. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. Probably still have, like, two minutes left. All right, so next up is the Centurion bro Broats. Boats at the Glen, race 22 of 36, and uh, that's going to be seven laps long, the shortest race of the entire season, too. Okay, I'll take a look at the very important point standings. Okay, so Dale Jarrett is 875 points behind me. I feel like I just gained 100 points on the guy in second. That's kind of retarded. Michael Waltrip third, John Wood still fourth, Tony Stewart fifth, Delonard Jr. sixth, Brian Vickers seventh, Kurt Busch eighth, Paul Menard ninth, and Kyle Busch, 10th. Uh, Matt Kenseth is now in 11th. He's moving up. Uh, and and let's, let's find Jamie McMurray, McMurray and Dave Reagan. Jamie McMurray, McMurray is in 29th in points. He finally cracked the top 30 and everything. <laughs> David Reagan is in 35th. And, of course, Carl Edwards is in 40th place because he is the best NASCAR driver um, in real NASCAR in 2008 and the worst NASCAR driver in this game. I don't know why. Megan Fox, Fox is in 51st. Is that is very important information. <laughs> Megan Fox. Um, Bruce, Bruce, Bruce Wayne is in 52nd. Is in 52nd. Uh, Batman to the rescue. And, of course, Watkins Glen can't drive for shit. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> Watkins Glen is, is the worst driver in history. So maybe Scott, Scott Watkins will win the century on both at the Glen. Maybe. Right. I think that would be common sense, right? <laughs> yeah, but this this game doesn't do common sense. It does bullshit. Clearly, if you look at the top five in points, you got Dale Jarrett, Michael Waltrip, and Carl Edwards is 40th. John Wood was in the top five. <laughs> yeah. What? All right. So thanks for joining me in this video, Dale. Really appreciate it. Um, I love watching your channel, and um, his channel leak is in the description for you guys that want to see him race live on Fridays whenever he gets back to doing that. I don't know when that will be, though. Whenever I can get my computer fixed, I will definitely be back at it with a brand new career mode, NASCAR Thunder 2004. And, uh, JC, thank you for having me on your video, man. It's fun as always. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.